Hello everybody, I hope you are having a fantastic day. I've got a couple of packages here, so let's do a mailbag. Now I have been doing, um, opening up a lot of my resistors and other things like that, just off the channel thing. You guys can only look at so many resistors. That said, um, because these other packages have been piling up, I have literally no idea uh, what's in some of these things. So uh, here we go. We got the first one. This is a high definition multimedia interface uh, fighting for the dream. And I still have no idea what this is. Uh, so let's open it up. Ah, okay. So we've got a 4K Ultra HD 2.2 EID um, video capture. And I don't have my other one around here, but um, I have one of those really cheap $13 dongles, maybe $9 dongles. I'll link to that in the description too. And I love it. It's a great HDMI capture device, um, just HDMI in straight through to USB. But this one's got a couple of extra features. It has a separate mic jack, has a separate um, headphone jack. It's USB 3 and it also has a pass-through. So in other words, I can uh, capture the thing that I'm looking at, which is kind of nice. And so um, I got this little device here. Uh, it comes with a nice, heavy, nice cables. Um, but I got this one to be kind of a second capture device. I have two YouTube studios. I don't really take YouTube that seriously, but I do record uh, a lot of the work that I do on computers, even if I don't wind up making videos out of it. Uh, maybe I'll do it when I'm on vacation or something like that. But uh, so I wanted another one of these, and uh, because it just seems like from taking my other one from place to place, I uh, I lose it all the time. So I will keep one over here at this desk and one over there at Studio B, and I will not spend any of my time looking for my missing capture device. Next up, we've got another Amazonian. Uh, let's see what we got. This is Connectors Pro. Still don't know what this is either. Ah, okay, so these are uh, male 34 pin uh, 2.54 millimeter dot pitch connectors. And I got these for a reason, and that reason will come to my head very soon. I have some devices which may or may not show up in this mailbag video that um, are 40 pin, and they're 40 pin female. And I looked at buying cables to um, to hook them up for when the device would not be in the orientation or location that I want it to be. And those cables were fairly expensive. And then I got the brilliant idea that I can take a standard IDE cable and just crimp this on there and uh, I can put the device on here whenever I want and wherever I want. So um, I'll have to show you that in practice. That probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but instead of buying some uh, male to female adapter or uh, double long adapters where I could connect two cables together or something like that, I just decided that I would put an extra male connector on the cable. And when I want to plug it in, uh, I can plug the cable into the motherboard and I can plug the device into here. So uh, hopefully that'll all work out, we'll see. Well, I realized that the camera wasn't running for the last two items, which is kind of a bummer. So I'm just gonna show them to you and uh, you'll just have to trust me that I opened them today. This is a set of four, as you can see, two red, two black, uh, not momentary contact push buttons. These are actually push on, push off. And so as you can see, uh, the button sticks out a little further when it is off and a little less when it is on. And uh, I'm in the middle of doing a restoration and that's when I realized that I actually have very few uh, push on, push off buttons. And uh, they're all either small surface mount or through hole things or gigantic things that came off of boats and other big heavy equipment. But the small ones are actually fairly hard to find. Um, and I think I paid somewhere between eight and twelve dollars for these off of Amazon, which is a lot for my budget. But um, they did come pre-wired. They look like they're pretty decent quality. And uh, what I was looking at was that if I was going to get them from AliExpress, it would take a couple of weeks to get them, and I might get ten of them and still have to pay the same amount of money. So um, in my case, I only needed one. It was between. It was preventing me from finishing my project. And so I went ahead and ponied up and got these. And so far I seem happy with them. If I um, do find a good deal on these in bulk from Amazon or AliExpress, I would buy more of them uh, just to have on stock. But for right now, I needed one. I got four, can't complain about that. And next up, I was in the middle of grilling some wings and uh, I had 
a tragedy strike. I got out my little thermometer and it, uh, when I opened it up, it said low is in low battery. So with wings on the grill, which I don't tend to grill a lot of wings, I do the smoker, um, even bake them, air fry them, but just was trying something a little different. I had the grill divided into three sections and had, um, you know, different rubs on them and stuff like that. And But, you know, the wings are different sizes, so I wanted to check them individually and make sure that they were at the 165 degrees that they need to be. Um, and this thing said low battery, so I sprinted over to the office and I grabbed a Ziploc bag of 2032 batteries and every single one I've put in there said low battery. So something defective with this thing, uh, but I love these things. Came with a spare battery, which is pretty sweet. Came with a uh, some Velcro, no clue why, um, but it's uh, the way it works is you open it up and as you open it up, the thing turns on and uh, you get a read in two to three seconds. It has uh, the ability to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. It has the ability to hold the temperature if you're sticking it in an awkward place. Uh, no comment. And it's got a light to allow you to see it in the dark. Plus, it has this uh, nice little scale here to make sure that your chicken, your wings are 165, your ground beef is 160 if you like to kill it, um, and then the various states of doneness for steak, and I guess apparently pork and veal and lamb also. Um, one thing you want to be careful with is you can't put this thing in the dishwasher, and it does have this little pocket down here, so I uh, highly recommend that you clean it and sanitize it well before you fully close it so that you don't wind up building up a bunch of bacteria and crud there. But um, the last one I had lasted me four years. Uh, these things run anywhere between $10 and $15 on Amazon. So although it was sad to see my other one gone, uh, I was very happy to be able to get another one. Oh, we got a peel. I didn't know that was on there. Um, so I was happy to get another one. And uh, I may fix the first one, but I'm highly doubting it. So, hey, that's what I got.